Hello friends and welcome to Hype Production. In this video tutorial, we are gonna model a newly introduced cell phone by Oppo, which is Oppo F19. So let's get it started and let's go to 3D Studio Max. First of all, I'm gonna go to the shapes and draw a rectangle here. And after drawing my rectangle, make it to the center and just right click on it and go to editable spline. Take the vertex, select them all, and then you will have to find out the option, which is fillet. Fillet will uh, smooth your corners, that will be curve. And after that, apply a modifier, which is called extrude modifier. Extrude modifier will give the depth in it and you can increase the depth amount. So this is going to be uh, like a 3D. So next step is convert them into editable poly and select the front side and select the back side by polygons. And uh, then you may make it insert. Insert actually reduce the selection of the polygons. So you have to insert them because we have to make it separate. So select detach to create separation. Because I'm gonna separate my screen back cover and then I'm gonna separate my border of the, or you may call it subbody of the mobile so they are separate this time i'm going to select my body and i'm adding two edges between them because uh, i need to create some curve shape uh, in the sides of the mobile by scaling i'm going to make it create some curve shape because i have already added two edges between them so now it's look like a curve for more creative i'm going to add mesh smooth modifier and uh, yes that's good i'm just gonna add some alterations so it's a smooth okay they are separated so our next step is to create the camera same process same the rectangle draw the rectangle and after that convert them into spline after taking a spline select their vertex and make it fill it for the smooth corners and then you have to set them on the back side like this all right i'm going to take some duplicates some different duplicates with the same shapes and the main reason is that i'm gonna give their names this one will be my border second one will be my lens because i'm gonna add lens in here third one will be my flashlight I will add flashlight in here and the last one is my glass so select the first one and take the spline because the spline is the complete body and then after taking spline you have to add outlines outlines will create the border like this this is perfect so after that you will have to apply a modified extrude to give the depth in it because if you create the border so we have to give the depth and adjust them into the mobile that's perfect now just you need to copy the extrude modifier and paste it in here like this and you have to adjust these lines I think this, uh, this has, it has a size problem okay select your border and make it a scale to make a big size that's perfect okay so now I have adjusted them so my next step will be I'm gonna isolate them and because I will create lens in here. Take the cylinder and create the cylinder in this point. That's perfect. So adjust the cylinder here because we are gonna create some holes for the lenses and duplicate them by holding shift and drag the mouse. This is perfect. I'm gonna take the duplicate of these slenders because when I will delete them by Pro Boolean, compound object, Pro Boolean, start picking and select them. So now these are the holes. So I have to fill these holes like this. Now, so we have done the process of the lenses. So the third part is this one, which is my flashlight, same modifier and you have to delete the extra vertices make it to the corner 
and adjust here because we are going to create some flesh tights here as you can see in the reference this is perfect isolate them I need to isolate this with the cylinder select both of them and isolate them now once again I'm going to adjust the cylinder and take the duplicate of the cylinder like this and I'm going to the compound object same thing compound object pro boolean start picking and delete them and just adjust them here well, that's perfect so the next one is for the glass I'm gonna paste the extrude modifier and fix the glass of the camera so if I place here I'm going to the object property and make a visibility 0.3% because it will little bit transparent so it can easily be highlighted as a glass so, okay so we have uh, done the modeling of the mobile so it's time for the texturing I have to texture the glass and the back cover uh, so I'm gonna take uh, this time I'm gonna take uh, because they are UV unwrap UV unwrap UV unwrap will going to unwrap the all front side and the back side like flatten mapping okay so these are the difference it's front side and back side okay the other two sides one is from front and second one is back so you have to take the snapshot of these tools like tools render UV template and render UV template save the file when you will save the file uh, so you can edit them in the Adobe Photoshop so we are going to the Photoshop okay so we have to call my texture I have this texture already I have created this texture before which is this texture it is the wallpaper of Oppo F19 and now I'm going to call my screen snapshot so I'm gonna show my screen snapshot I'm gonna paste my main wallpaper on my front screenshot and I will adjust them okay so the back cover this time back cover is a colorful black co back, back cover so I have to create a shape here and I will give the gradient the two colors gradient one is this one and the second one is this dark one okay in the last uh, I have to apply the I'm gonna search them no I think it's on my desktop so I apply the logo of Oppo the official logo of Oppo I have to apply here okay so make it transform decrease in size and make them white like this so save this texture as a JPEG format and after that uh, go to the 3D Studio Max and give the material editor assign the object and give them a material bitmap and call your mean texture this one when you call assign so it will easily can be seen in the 3D Studio Max that it is applied already here so the next step is going to be my border I will select my border and go to the material editor give them a black color a little bit darker gray or make them reflection to the gray and remove the check from final reflection so apply the same texture here I'm gonna hide my glass because it is interrupting okay give them a dark black color okay and give them a metallic color metallic texture because it is actually reflected material so we have to give them some of the metallic texture which was this one I'm gonna call here and for adjusting this texture I'm gonna make it to the UV map okay increase the value of length or width you have to you just need to play with them actually now it's liking 
I think that was good. That was good. Okay, so next step is my flashlight. I'm going to take the yellow color and apply her hair. This time, lens time. Take the texture of lens and apply on these three lenses. It is not properly adjusting, so you have to apply UV map and just adjust their width and height. Width and length, sorry. It's something like this. Now the copy UV map and apply pasted here. That is perfect. Time for the glass. You have to take the black color or darker black. Give them reflection and give them refraction more. So it looks like a proper glass. So I actually forgot to draw the buttons, power button and volume button. I'm going to go to the shapes rectangle. And this time I have to take my left viewport to draw my buttons in the center. Convert them to variable spline and take the vertex and make it fill it. All right, after making them fill it, you have to apply extrude modifier. So my this is my power button and the second one is my volume down button and duplicate it's a volume up button. So these three buttons have to be select and then apply a chrome material this one which we apply on the borders as well. So my mobile modeling and texturing is complete. Group them. This time we have to give them a render settings video lighting so I'm gonna apply my camera. I have to apply a camera. Take the target camera and draw the camera from top viewport. It's like this. Okay. Take the duplicate of this mobile and rotate them just to show the back side as well. We have shown the front and now we have to show the back side as well. Something like this and adjust this position here. Take the lighting VR light and draw a VR light on the top of the viewport, top of the mobile. Give them, I think, 12%. I think that's okay. Okay, so take the render settings. Apply the, ex sorry, expert mode. You have to wait for that. Go to the radius map and make the low radius map. Select the bucket, make approx 15%. Okay, but go to the environment and take the reflection V-Ray HDRI. This one. So through the material letter, drop the V-Ray HDR in here and take the HDR, which is this one. It is for the environmental reflections. Okay, so let's take the render. It's actually a dark. I think that was dark. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate. I think you have to duplicate the light, rotate them. I'm gonna give the light from the left side of the mobile as well. A little bit rotation, a little bit settings. So let's see what's the final output. Okay, so that was a cool render of newly introduced mobile phone of Oppo F19. And I hope you like this tutorial. So if you like this tutorial, so kindly subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Thank you so much.